I'm back. Well, sort of. I mean, the goal is to do about one video a week, but we'll see about that. I meant to shoot this last Wednesday. I mean, I'm still editing the music video I shot in March. But enough about that. This video is about this. This is what happens when a country refuses to address its history with slavery. We need to do here what they did in Germany. What? I meant the educating kids about the nation's horrible past part, not the um, concentration camp part. Oh, okay, because I was about to say. What can I say other than dear white people should be required watching for every American regardless of ethnicity or race? It's a bit of a misnomer, but that's done on purpose. Not only to shock us a little bit, but also to show us that our initial reactions aren't necessarily a reflection of the truth. I was a big fan of the initial film despite its flaws, and the television series did not disappoint. Every black person in America can understand and identify with at least one of the characters, especially those of us who have attended PWIs, and it gives every other group of people a glimpse into what it's like to be black in America, and also what it's like to be black in American academia. I can't even begin to unpack everything that this series is. It touches on racism, classism, colorism, appropriation versus assimilation, sexuality, modern day minstrel shows, and much more. The first episode brilliantly sets up the series, and in several different ways explains exactly why the series is even needed. People lost their ever-loving minds when the teaser trailer premiered. This is racist. This promotes white genocide. And my favorite, what if there was a dear black people? People would be outraged. And to that I say this, people tend to bash what they don't or refuse to understand. Because funny enough, the first episode features a blackface party called Dear Black People, which set off a chain of events that is all too familiar to people of color, and realistically shows us where this country truly is when it comes to racism. It reminded me of a time when I was thrown smack dab into the middle of a race scandal. 17 year old me was a senior in a high school that was a third black, a third white, and a third Latino. When some random junior girl from Russia, or rather Belarus, posted on her Zanga blog, yes I'm dating myself, that she was pro-slavery and against gay marriage. Now the latter wasn't a complete shocker given where she came from, but pro-slavery though? So I emailed it to some friends of mine, as did half our school. Now where I went wrong is that I ended the four page long dissertation of an email with, somebody should beat her I'm not proud of it. The next day I get called into the office and threatened with a suspension because get this, someone printed my email, which contained her blog post, and the administration took my last sentence as a threat. Yet, no disciplinary action was directed toward her because free speech. Oh really? I essentially reply with, if you suspend me, you have to suspend her, and I walk back to class. One girl saw me upset and asked me what was wrong, and within an hour the entire school knew. For at least a week, you could cut the racial tension with a butter knife. Her friends tried to white explain it away, saying that she didn't know what she was talking about because she was foreign. Even though we were all aware that slavery predates the transatlantic slave trade by thousands of years. In addition, some random internet racist popped in defending her, spewing racist rhetoric from the 19th century, making the situation a thousand times worse. To the point where a diversity club had to be created at our school. Day three, the principal calls a meeting with me and my mom, her, her mom, and a Russian translator. Now my mom is mad that I cursed, but is completely not here for what they're trying to pull. They could be calling us the n-word right now, we wouldn't even know. At the end of this 45 minute long meeting, during which she apologized in Russian, her mom cried and my mom is stone faced. My mom basically said the exact same thing that I did. If you suspend him, you have to suspend her. Five minutes later, I was back in class. But back to dear white people. It's just a brilliant show. I literally started and finished all 10 episodes in one day. And I've been going back and re-watching all the episodes to unpack everything that I missed the first go round. It's brilliant in its explanation of the black experience. And it's brilliant in showing that every group of people, black people included, have a lot of work to do when it comes to racial unity. And the backlash just reinforces why this series is needed. To open up dialogue and to show the world that one, people of color in America are far more than the caricatures perpetuated in the media. Two, the racism of today looks much different than Klan rallies and skinheads. And three, as a nation, we're not as far removed from Jim Crow as we think we are.